My name is Tajali Brown. I am a first form student at the Manchester High School and I will be reading the International Literacy Day message 2020 on behalf of Dr. Andre R. Hill, our National Literacy Coordinator. International Literacy Day has been celebrated every year since 1966 and has taken place worldwide. This celebration is important as it reminds us as a people of the value of literacy as a matter of pride and human rights, as well as advance the literacy agenda towards a more literate and sustainable society. The theme for this year is Literacy Teaching and Learning in the COVID-19 Crisis and Beyond. As we turn our attention to the theme for this year, let us consider exploring the effects of COVID-19 on literacy teaching and learning. Many words come to mind. Maths, sicknesses, distance, meters, social, hospital, technology, barriers, sanitizers, lockdown, and the list goes on. These words may bring different emotions to each of us, some more dreaded than others depending on how COVID-19 has affected us. These words are not directly taught in our classroom due to the lockdown in the educational system, but indirectly our students have learned these words due to the impact of COVID-19. In addition to students in direct learning and adding new words to their vocabulary, let me applaud our teachers who have stretched themselves in order to reach our students by incorporating technology in the literacy teaching and learning process. Despite the greatest effort, however, the reach is limited as several students especially the most vulnerable in our society do not have the technology or connectivity they need to effectively work from home. Also, their parents or guardians may lack the necessary skills, confidence and motivation to support the learning of these students outside the school environment. Despite the challenges faced, I want to encourage our teachers, parents, students and stakeholders to keep pushing towards the goal of making our nation, children and young people alike more literate. When this is accomplished, there will be much to be celebrated as not just our target group will benefit but by a large our nation and by the extension the world. Moving forward, let's continue to adapt to our space as well as the use of technology as much as possible, but not forgetting our vulnerable students. This disruption, the disruption of students' literacy learning is a major risk but everyone doing his or her part will make a vast difference. The input of our teachers and stakeholders will be needed more than ever to help schools pick up the pieces and enable their students to flourish in every way. I implore you to continue to model good reading behavior for our children to emulate as we combat this crisis. Let us also continue to implant in the nation's children the importance